As an early career software engineer, it's easy to focus on learning the hottest new framework or tackling the most complex feature. Trust me, I've been there, spending weeks mastering a framework only to find out it's been deprecated by the time I finish reading the documentation. But what truly sets you up for long-term success isn't just what you build, it's how you build it. Now, building a strong foundation of fundamental skills is the most critical investment you can make in your career. These are the practices that separate good code from great, reliable systems from fragile ones. And a core part of this journey is embracing failure as a learning opportunity. Every bug, no, not that kind of bug. <laughs> anyway, every bug, every failed build, and every design that needs a rethink is a chance to grow stronger and more resilient as an engineer. Let's start with the most fundamental building block of our craft, the code itself. Writing good code is about communication, and its first audience is the next developer who reads it, which is often your future self. The first principle is using meaningful names and self-explanatory logic. A function named calculate total immediately tells you its purpose, reducing the mental effort needed to understand the code. Next is simplicity, often summarized by the acronym KISS for keep it simple stupid. Avoid unnecessary complexity. A straightforward solution is almost always better than a clever one that's hard to understand. Consistency is also key. Adhering to your team's established patterns and style guides makes the entire code base feel like it was written by a single cohesive mind. This predictability makes it much easier to navigate and maintain. Finally, always strive for a factorability. This means writing modular, well-organized code that can be easily changed or extended later without causing a cascade of breaking changes across the system. Beyond the code itself, you need to develop a quality mindset early. This isn't just about avoiding bugs. It's about building confidence in the software you create. The most powerful tool in your quality arsenal is testing. Too often, tests are seen as a chore, but they're one of the highest leverage activities an engineer can perform. First, writing tests prevents regressions. A comprehensive test suite acts as a safety net, giving you immediate feedback if a change breaks existing functionality. Tests also facilitate refactoring. With that safety net in place, you can confidently improve your code structure knowing your tests will catch any unintended side effects. They also act as living documentation. A good test clearly shows how a piece of code is intended to be used, providing concrete examples that they're always up to date with the implementation. Ultimately, all of this builds confidence. It builds your confidence as a developer and it builds your team's confidence in the stability and reliability of the product. Adopting this tester's mindset means thinking about quality throughout the entire development process, from preventing bugs to understanding the system and taking shared responsibility for its quality. The final pillar of our foundation is mastering the tools of your trade. Being proficient with your tools reduces friction and allows you to focus your mental energy on solving the actual problem at hand. This goes beyond just your IDE. It means gaining a deep understanding of essential practices that support your day-to-day -day work. First is version control, like Git. Master the basics of branching, merging, and writing clear, concise commit messages. A clean version history is an invaluable tool for understanding how a project has evolved and for tracking down bugs. Next, cultivate a strong debugging discipline. Don't just randomly change things and hope for the best. 
learn to approach bugs systematically, reproduce the issue, form a hypothesis, and use your tools to test it. Solid documentation practices are also non-negotiable. If you figure out a tricky process or a gotcha in the system, write it down. You'll save your teammates and your future self countless hours of frustration because nothing humbles you quite like reading your own code from six months ago and having absolutely no idea what you were thinking. And finally, never underestimate the power of communication skills. Being able to clearly explain technical concepts, ask good questions, and listen actively is just as important as writing good code. Mastering these fundamentals, writing clean code, cultivating a quality mindset, and mastering your tools is the bedrock of an effective engineering career. These habits are what will enable you to take on bigger, more complex challenges with confidence. This foundation is your launch pad for growth. To continue learning, be sure to watch the rest of the series and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tips and tricks on being an effective engineer.